What's going on, y'all? This is Mike with Mike's MMW, Movies, Music, and Wings. Here to give you another weekly recap. I'm going to give you a brief rundown of any movies and shows I recently watched, any music I've listened to, any wings that I've eaten. Uh, first, I want to go ahead and just talk briefly about you know, a couple shows. Uh, first, The Mandalorian. Like, once again, I know I, I probably spoke about this before, but fucking baby Yoda, bro. Like, little dude is off the chain. Like, that little, little motherfucker is it. Like, Star Wars hit it on the head with little dude. Like, his ass hitting little buttons and shit, just fucking around, not listening. Like, little baby Yoda is, like, still in the motherfucking show with that. Like, everything else in there is cool. Like, the, the show was cool. It was tight and all. But, like, that little baby Yoda, like, bruh, it's tight. Like, I'm, I would like to see if this is, like, somehow going to tie tie into the new the Star Wars, The Last Jedi, whatever the fuck, whatever this last one is. But, like, baby Yoda. Is it Yoda baby? Is it a clone? Is it a, you know, is it a, a sibling? Or, or what is it? Like, who the fuck is baby Yoda? That's it. Like, baby Yoda's tight. All right, um, next one, The Watchmen, bro. Like, the latest episode was, like, the reveal. Like, they just been like, this show is wild. Like, there's just so much shit going on in this show. Like, it, like you got to pay attention. Like, it should be some weird shit just thrown in your face. But this episode, you know, if you haven't seen it, um, we find out who Dr. Manhattan is or, like, where he's been. And, like, he's been fucking, it's, it's. Uh, Angela Abar's fucking husband. Like, he been hiding in this man. I don't know. I don't know how he did it. Like, is he transformed into old boy? But, like, Angela's been married to Dr. Manhattan this whole motherfucking time. And, like, her, they faked her husband's background and shit. Like, husband, like, I don't know. She came home, cracked that thing in the head with a motherfucking hammer. It's like, I'm like, you gotta come out of the tunnel now. Like, wow, we got motherfucking Dr. Manhattan back. Like, I can't wait to see next week, see how that turns out. Like, Shit gonna be wild. Like, this show was dope, man. Like, I did not expect it to be so, like, heavily, like, based on race and racism and all that. Like, it is deep. Like, it definitely fits into, like, you know, today's world and the context and all that and shit. Like, but I feel like they'd be reaching a little bit. Like, last week's episode was supposed to have, like, character based on, you know, Donald Trump's father and shit. Like, like it, it'd be a lot. It'd be tight. I like it. I really like the show. But, like, it'd be a lot sometimes. Like, and definitely, I'm sure it definitely turns a lot of people off. Regina King, fucking killing it. Shout out Regina. All right, next show. Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn got a new show on the DC services. It's a cartoon. It's based on Harley Quinn. Uh, so, anyway, Harley, you know, she loved Joker or whatever. Joker fucking just kind of leave her to the side. And so she winds up, you know, breaking up with the Joker and want to become her own boss bitch and shit like that, trying to join the League of League of Doom, Legion of Doom and shit like this. Like, but this... This cartoon, boy, is, like, mature, rated mature. Like, it's blood, cussing, motherfucker, shit, damn, fuck all that, cussing all that blood, breaking bones, like, blowing motherfuckers up. Like, it's, it's wild. Like, I was, I wrote online, like, it's, it gives you, like, these, these 90s late night MTV, you know, cartoon vibes. Like, it's, it's wild. My girl said it reminds her of Daria and shit. Like, it's just, it's deep, it's wild, it's dope, like. If you into the DC comics or just cart like like fucking gritty cartoons in general, like definitely peep Harley Quinn. Like this shit is tight, motherfucker. Je the Detective Gordon is just fucking like almost like he's cracked out. Like this motherfucker is wild. Like it's it's tight. The Harley Quinn show on the DC uh, streaming service. We got one episode now. Can't I think it comes out every Friday. Like definitely peep Harley Quinn. Definitely recommend that one. All right, uh, so my shows. Uh, movies. Uh, I've seen a few movies this, this past uh, few weeks, but the only thing I really want to talk about is Queen and Slim. Um, it was cool. Like I, I, I recently gave it a six, six out of ten. Uh, I sat on it for a little while, kind of thought about it. I probably, probably, you know, if I could change it, I'd probably go like a six and a half out of ten. Like, movie was great. Like, I mean, it was good. Um, the vibe was good. It's like when I went into it for you know as it starts you feel good I'm watching it like I'm, I'm getting goosebumps watching this like um, but for y'all for those of y'all don't know it's a movie this couple is, is not even a couple these these, um, these these black folks go on a date black dude black lady uh, want to go on a Tinder date yeah uh, meeting for the first time go out to dinner 
on the way home. Did, they didn't really go that well. He wound up taking, trying to take her home. Um, she fucking like took his phone in the whip, so he tried to reach over and take the phone back. So he kind of swerved as he's doing it. Police behind him, pull him over. Police pull him out the car. It gets fucking abrupt. Um, of course, the cops a dick and a racist. Winds up fucking pull the gun out. Da da da. Winds up fucking shooting old boy. I mean, not shooting old boy, shooting the girl. Like winds up shooting her and her motherfucking leg. He tackles the cop. Fucking. So it comes down to like, all right, the cops probably gonna kill me. I'm going to get this gun and shoot him first. So he winds up shooting the cop, um, and they got they pretty much want to run. Now, these two people, they fucking strangers, and now they fucking got to deal with each other. You know, they just been in this fucking crazy-ass situation. Now they got to deal with one another. Like, it's wild. Like, just to think of that, like, the first question is, would you kill a police officer if you know he's about to kill you? Like, that's the first question. Like, do you, you going to kill the cop? before he kills you, like potentially risk yourself going to prison or going to jail, you know, if there's, you know, if you can't get off on it, like before he kills you, you want to die or go to prison? Like, it's wild. And the second question is, like one of them could have took off, like he shot the cop. She didn't shoot the cop. Like, did you ride for old boy? Like you just met him, but he put, you know, low key saved your life. Like, do you ride with him and take off? Or you fucking, hey bro, you better take off. Police about to show up. Like, it's crazy. Um, all right, but anyway, back to the movie, like, the movie felt good, but the whole story, like, you, when you see the previews, you think it's gonna be like this fucking revenge, Bonnie and Clyde running around shooting motherfucking police up, da 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 but it's not, it's a fucking love story, it's like, it's definitely a love story, the whole movie kind of centers around them, like, once again, being forced to be together, and like, how their relationship builds, and you know, how they, you know, start to depend on one another, and fall for one another, and like, become ride or die, you know, like, become each other's legacy, as they called it, um, It was cool, but like had unrealistic moments. Like he, like, just as they, you know, leaving whatever. I think it was Ohio, wherever the fuck they're from. They're leaving Ohio, trying to get down to Florida. Like they'd run into people that knew them, I'm just from television and whatnot. See them on the news and like interact. The different interactions they had with people and them waiting, you know, stopping to do this and stopping. Like super unrealistic. Like I know it's a movie and it, you know, it's not gonna be fucking to the T of what would happen in real life, but it's just, some of it was like, bullshit, y'all tripping right now, like, if y'all really would do this, y'all would have took the fuck off, like, some of it was just stupid, um, character was good, acting was good, um, it was just, I wanted it to be good so bad, like, I wrote my review, like, I wanted it to be good so bad, like, based on the previews, but it was just, it just wasn't, it wasn't, like, like I said, the, this, the, the journey was unrealistic, but the ending was like, of course, that was meant to happen. Like, and it was, it just sucked. Like, it just, at the end of the day, like, I was just, like, it's all this build up for nothing. Like, you're like, oh, they're going to get away. They're not. Like, I mean, I'm sure, like, realistically, you know what's going to happen. It's just, Queen of Slim gave it a six, six out of ten. If I could go back in time, like, I you know, if I could go back in time, like, I probably gonna, I would update it to like a six and a half, like a, it's a, it's a solid movie, you know, it's based around, you know, the, you know, almost Black Lives Matter type shit too, like, it's a, it's wild, like, it was, it was good, you know, I would recommend seeing it, I'm not gonna say it was a shitty movie, you know, the six is still good, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible, it wasn't great, but it's definitely a worth a watch, I definitely, you know, I would highly recommend you watch Queen and Slim, you know, get what you want out of it, form your own opinion, um, like I said, I'd probably give it a six and a half out of ten. I'm I'm tough on movies, you know, but six and a half out of ten at the end of the day is probably the highest I would go with it. Like cool movie, super unrealistic journey, realistic ending, fucked up ending. That's all I'm saying. Queen stuff. All right. Uh, music. Uh, okay, so oh boy. Artisan Fontaine, man, like he been, he got that fucking back it up or whatever song with Cardi B. I've been hearing all over the radio for the longest. Then like that's the only song I ever heard from him for quite some time. I didn't even know who he was. Song was cool. Da da da. Cardi on it, dude had a nice cool little verse, whatever. Um, you too pretty to be paused on the FaceTime. What the fuck you say? Shit was tight. Uh, but 
people I ran across him on on Instagram a few weeks ago. Um, that I seen that album. People, the album, the album is solid. Like I, su- I like this fucking album. Like the album is tight. Dude is dope. You know, smooth rapper. He's not like super lyrical, but he's like a hood dude. You know, got but he got some hood tracks with fucking tracks on there for the ladies and shit. Like, um, definitely recommend the album. Our album underrated. He got a couple tracks on there like Shea Butter. Uh, underrated, two cell phones, the intro track, uh, not there yet, is dope, like, Parson and Fontaine, dude is tight, definitely recommend that, um, what else, what other, what other shit on here, though? he got a couple, he got a bunch of features on there, we got, uh, Offset, Cardi B, Jeremiah, City Girls, Jada Kiss, um, I had the 14 tracks, I think I like a solid 10 of them, that was good, saw Money Machine is dope, uh, yeah, underrated, um, uh, by Parson Fonte, Party, like, definitely check that out, uh, like I said, he ain't a super lyrical rapper, he got a couple bars in there, but it's more like, just like, vibes, like, cool little song and hooks on there, like, check that out, uh, Fab, man, number two out of five, my, you know, my top five, Wayne, Fab, Cole, fuck, why am I blanking, Big Sean, Wale, Wayne, Fab, Cole, Big Sean, Wale. That's my top five. Um, Fab, man, he ain't put nothing. He ain't put shit out in a while. So we've been feeding for this uh, summertime shootout three. All the rest of them was great. Summertime shootout one, summertime shootout two, Soul Tate one, two, three was incredible. Like everything was on fire with that. So I'm waiting for this. It's been such a long time since we put a song, put music out. So when this came out, like I was excited. That shit ain't even all that. Like, I, I might give my full review on it just shit. I haven't, like, I want to give it a, you know, a little solid, you know, run-throughs, like, one or two more run-throughs, but I'm not even feeling it the first go-around. Like, I'm feeling it, but it's not, it's not as previous, like, his previous bodies of work. Like, it's definitely different if, just, you know, from first couple run-throughs. Like, it feels like it was almost a soul tape. He's running on a soul tape, and it turned into a summertime shootout. Like, it just it has soulful vibes. Then it turned into, like, had some bops in there, like, choosy and shit like that. Like, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not going to I'm not gonna shit on it just yet. Um, definitely, I definitely like some songs on there. Fab, once again, he my top five. So he, he always going to have something for me. But just first couple run-throughs, wasn't feeling it like that. Like, it took me, it took me, like, two days just to get through the, the whole thing. At first. <laughs> I know I'm busy and shit. I got shit going on, but. Typically, if the album is dope, I'm going to fucking burn through that bitch. Like, if we got tracks on there, I'm going to burn through that bitch in one day. And didn't do it with Summertime Shootout 3. But I'm next next week, I'm going to have my full official review on that. Um, yeah, fab. Summertime Shootout 3. No Wings. Uh, I just ate some wings the other day. I haven't read the review for that. I got some salsa straight out of Hawaii. So I, I went and just bought a couple packs of wings from Costco. So I got a bunch of salsa. I got three or four salsas and some rubs that I uh, haven't used yet. So I got a whole bunch of shit ready to lined up to go. Uh, so no wings on this review. I have eaten some. I got these cool uh, Hawaiian uh, hot sauce that I just did up. So I'll be putting that on my IG. Probably tomorrow or a day after and do the re- review for that next week. Um, the, li- the video review for that next week. So check that out. Um, yeah, check check out the Instagram, Facebook website for full reviews on the music, wings, movies, shows, whatever. You want to read the full review for Queen and Slim, check out my Instagram, on my Facebook, on my website, mikesmmw.com. Check me out on there. Uh, follow me on Instagram to see what shows I'm watching. Uh, check out my previews. Check out what shows or movies is on my radar that's coming up that I want to check out. Uh, just peep all that, man. Check me out. Follow. This is Cash Right Now Instagram. Um, yeah, that's about it. Check me back next week.